the greatest welterweights in the world, each uh, fighting training in the Los Angeles area, uh, will do battle uh, at the Staples Center in what is sure to be a memorable, memorable match. It seems like when fights happen at Staples Center, they always bring out the best. You have never really seen a bad fight at Staples Center. We saw that eight years ago when Shane fought Oscar de la Hoya here. We saw it when Barrera fought Rocky Juarez here. We saw it when uh, Klitschko fought Lennox Lewis here. And I'm sure we're going to see it again when Antonio Margarito is going to fight Sugar Shane Mosley here. We uh, have priced the tickets uh, very reasonable, starting at $50. $50, $75, $150, and $300. So we really want the fans to come out and have an opportunity to see this great showdown. What we have done as well, uh, given the fact that the holidays are coming up, if you buy $1,000 worth of tickets, you get a signed, a signed glove, signed by both of those legendary fighters, Shane and Antonio, as a holiday gift, a Christmas gift, holiday gift, for the fight fans uh, out there. Assalamualaikum. I'd like to thank everybody for having us here. I'd like to thank Margarita's camp for taking the challenge. And uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure and an opportunity to work with a, a great athlete such as Shane Mosley in his camp, Anthony and the guys, uh, and I appreciate them bringing me on board. As we know throughout history, that every sugar has had its showdown. From Sugar Ray Robinson to Sugar Ray Leonard taking on Hagner and shaking up the world to now Sugar Shane Mosley taking on a great athlete, athlete like Antonio Margarita. Uh, I'm pleased to be a part of this process. And like I said, those who don't know will be shook up and, and shocked when it comes to, to, to the fight between these two. But those of us that are aware of the ability of Shane Mosley, we won't be surprised, we'll just be proud. We're going to have a great, I think it's going to be a great outstanding fight you're going to see at the Staples Center. And like I said, I would definitely tune in because this will be a, a history. Like I said, every sugar has had a showdown. And this will be Shane Moses. Come January 24th, you're going to see Antonio Margarito not running. You know, it was said that Tony was running from this. You know, Tony doesn't run away from anyone. He'll be running forward. We know he got some other trainer, but that doesn't make a difference. We train hard for anybody. He never uh, changes his training style. He's a hard worker. We'll be ready for January 24th. Thank you. You know, I'm just happy that this, uh, well, first of all, let me thank HBO for, and the Step Center for stepping up and everybody for stepping up for this, uh, Mark Reno and their team for stepping up for this, uh, this great fight that I think is very needed for the you know, sport of boxing. Mark Reno being a great warrior, uh, is not going to help for a great and spectacular fight. You know, I'm, I'm just happy that you know the fight's gonna be here January 24th. I'm happy that uh, and I get the opportunity to show what I still can do. People say that oh he's getting older and all these different type of things. But, uh, I know I feel great. I know that uh, I can do it. And I have you know uh, I believe a great corner. Um, as I mentioned, coming aboard. I thank him and Anthony and. And all my team, the star partners and everything. As Richard said, I'm already up in Big Bear, uh, preparing myself for, uh, for this great for this great fight. And uh, like I said, I'm just happy that we're going to do it January 24th. And I'm also happy that it's going to be at the Staples Center, uh, where I first made uh, history uh, when I fought Oscar in, uh, in 2000. So I guess it's going to be another uh, LA rival. It's Oscar, it's Vargas, and uh, now we have Margarita. So, we got to see who's the key in California. We got to see who's the last man standing. I think I'll be the one. Thank you. Now, it's not by accident that we nicknamed him the Tijuana Tornado. Because when you're faced with a tornado, you can dance a little. You can stand your ground a little, you can go to the left, you can go to the right. But make no mistake about it, the tornado will get you. That's why it's a tornado. So 
it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the Tijuana Tornado, the WBA welterweight champion of the world, Antonio Margarita. Good afternoon to everyone. First, I'd like to thank HBO. Y a todos los que hicieron posible esta pelea. And everyone involved to make this fight possible. Bueno, uh, como ustedes lo saben, estoy listo para para cualquier tipo de peleador. Ya lo demostré el 26 de julio pasado. I prepare myself very well for every fighter. Everyone saw what I did uh, past July. Y a todo peleador, a todo peleador respeto. Este, sabemos que Mosley es un gran peleador, un peleador con mucha experiencia. I respect everyone I face. We all know that Mosley is a great fighter. He was a great champion. Pero nos estamos preparando muy bien para salir con el brazo en alto como como siempre lo hemos hecho. We are working very, very hard to come out of that fight victorious like we have always done. Vamos a tratar de llegar como siempre más del 100% y estamos uh, en el campamento aquí, aquí en Los Ángeles entrenando. We will be ready, we will be 100%. Our camp is here in Los Angeles. Y agradecer a todos los fanáticos, uh, así como lo mencionó Richard, uh, parece que los boletos pues van a estar este, accesibles para, para todo el público y, y toda la gente que pueda venir a apoyarme y claro, a apoyar a, a Mosley también. Especially want to give thanks to all the fans that come and watch the fight. Just like Richard said, the tickets are well priced. Price for the fans, price for the fans that come and watch a great event. Y quiero hacer este comentario nuevamente, uh, lo comenté en Las Vegas, en la pelea de Oscar y Pacquiao. I want to comment again comment that I made in Las, in Las Vegas during the De La Hoya Pacquiao fight. Hace dos años yo quería pelear con, con Mosley, no se dio la pelea. Two, year, two years ago, the Mosley fight was offered to us, but something happened and, and it didn't go through. ¿Por qué? Porque quería pelear con, con lo mejor, con el mejor peleador, y yo creo que, que él es un buen peleador. Why? Mosley said he wanted to fight with the best fighter out there. I think Mosley is one of the best out there. Y nuevamente quiero aclarar porque uh, vuelvo a decir, yo creo que no fueron palabras de Mosley, fueron gente que lo rodea, que supuestamente le tenía miedo. ¿Cómo puede ser posible eso? ¿Verdad, Ramiro? ¿Dónde te encuentras? It was mentioned out there that Mosley mentioned some words regarding me, but I want to let Mosley know that I really don't think it was him. I think it was some people around him. Pero nomás este, no me importa. Voy a volverlo a demostrar y, y muchas gracias a todos ustedes. But I don't care. I will show you who I am on January 24th. Thank you very much. Shane, you must have great memories of this place. I do. It's, uh, it's a great, uh, it was a great event in 2000 when I fought Oscar the first time, the first to open up the Staples Center. Can you believe it'll almost be eight and a half years to from that great event? I know, it was a long time. Eight and a half years is a long time. Uh, I had a lot of fights in between then, and now I'm coming back to fight another California, well, he's from Mexico, but from California, uh, to, to reclaim the, the California title. That seems to be important to you, this rivalry of Vargas, De La Hoya. I mean, you want to be the king of LA. I want to be the king of LA. I've always been, but uh, I just want to maintain that. When you look back, um, I talked to you a couple of months ago before the Mayorga fight. You wanted Margarito. I mean, you said, don't even take another fight to Antonio. What made this fight so appealing to you? Because this fight will let the people know just exactly where I stand. Uh, people will say, oh, well, he's, you know, he's not the same. Or, hey, of course, I'm not the same. Mm -hmm. But it let people know that, yeah, maybe I'm not the same. But mm -hmm. I'm still the best out here. I'm still the best around. I'm still the best 47-pounder out there. Give me the challenge that Antonio Margarita presents to the 2009 version of Shane Mosley. Uh, it's going to be a good challenge because he's going to continue to press and going to continue to throw punches and he's going to be relentless. 
Um, so I have to get myself in shape and get myself ready uh, for that physically mm -hmm. to uh, to be able to go at that type of pace. And if I have to go to that pace, mm -hmm. because you know it, it, anything can happen in a fight where you know I, I do hit hard enough to knock people out uh, mm -hmm. with one shot, and it's been proven. So uh, a guy at 147. Mm -hmm. Versus the guy at 154, they just can't walk in and just take punches like that. Shane, do you want to clear the air on anything? I know with the Balco situation, do you feel as though that that's something that's passed? But do you feel as though you have to clear your name in any way? You know, that's something that I can't yet. I can't even speak on. Mm -hmm. Don't even want to talk about because that's something that Judd Burstein and the guys are taking care of right now as we speak, and they will get to the bottom of it, and the, the truth will come out on everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't have to. Okay. Yeah, I'm really clear my name or anything. Because okay. I know what I said was truth. And the truth shall set you free, right? And the truth shall <laughs> set you free. All right. Shane, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nazim, is, is this another Hopkins Pavlik? <laughs> <laughs> Which you were uh, an instrumental part of. Well, the one is, like I said, it, is, is, it has the similarities. We see that. Uh, not taking any away from Kelly Pavlik, because I'm a fan of Kelly Pavlik. But I think Margarito presents a few more problems than what Kelly, you know, Kelly had to bring to the table. But um, it's, it has its similarities, but I wouldn't say clean cut that it's, it's Now, Zim, do you believe that Shane Mosley looked so awkward and had a difficult time because of the style of Mayorga? It really wasn't about Shane Mosley, but more about what Mayorga brings to the table? Mayorga is an awkward fighting guy. So bottom line, when, when, you, when you, you approach that, that particular uh, uh, a situation is, is hard to look clean and cut against a guy who's much bigger, who can punch, mm -hmm. and he's awkward. Mm -hmm. So an awkward shot can come from anywhere, especially from a bigger guy and a guy that has a decent punch also. Mm -hmm. I thought Shane did what he's supposed to. When he saw the opportunity, he closed the show. Do you think Margarito's a more conventional fighter, therefore an easier fighter in that respect in terms of style? Yes and no. He's more conventional, but I wouldn't say easier mm -hmm. because his balance is such where he's, oh, he can apply that pressure and he's a, he corrals you. He corrals you. Like 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 cowboys to to cattle, he corrals you to the ropes. He corrals you to the corner. He does certain things where he's not fighting so much. He's just trying to put you in position mm -hmm. so that he can start to fight, and he'll push you and, and position you. And then once he gets you where he wants you, he'll he'll let go with it. Now, Zim, you've been in the gym with Shane for a while. How much do you see in terms of his gas tank? Is it anywhere near E? I mean, do you like what you see? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm impressed with Shane Mosley and the fact that Shane brings a number of weapons to the plate. And it's about using the right weapons at the right time. A carpenter can't show up with a nail in front of him and, and pull out a saw. So we have to use, he has the attributes to, 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 to deal with my orga, Margarita, but it's, we're using the right things at the right time in order to exploit Margarita's flaws. Bob, when it's all said and done, this event belonged in L.A., didn't it? I don't think there's any question. I mean, there are two L.A. guys. Uh, the fans are here uh, in this economy. Uh, they're not going to pick up, particularly after Christmas, and go to Las Vegas. This is the place for the fight. Staples, we've done fights here in Staples. It's a great arena. It's convenient to the fans. Uh, we kept ticket prices realistically low, mm -hmm. so we expect a big night. Bob, in this economy, Las Vegas, I was there this past weekend, as were you. city seems dead. How is the casino industry affected by the economy and therefore the boxing business? Well, it's a funny thing. I got a call from MGM uh, yesterday, and they told me that it was the most phenomenal weekend they've had all year, that they did absolutely fantastic in the restaurants, in the casino, and they attributed it all, of course, to the fight. So while... The economy and the recession has hurt Las Vegas. In a way, it makes big fights more desirable because they have to have them. I mean, I had dinner last night with Steve Wynn, whose place, uh, all they did was buy tickets to the fight. And they had a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend. And Steve said to me, the energy from a big fight is so great that the town can do without it. So do you expect to see more or less fights in arenas like the Staples Center in 2009? I think that there will be more fights outside of Las Vegas 
than we've had before, but that the truly big, big fights will continue to be in Las Vegas because there's no other place as suitable for such fights. Mm -hmm. Bob, talk about the ordeal of making Mosley Margarito a reality. Well, it, you know, the problem always comes down to money, you know. I mean, these guys are courageous guys. Uh, Mosley didn't hesitate to go in with Margarito. Margarito will go in with uh, Klitschko if uh, we ask him to. The question then was the money. Uh, HBO put up $4 million, and we divided it 50-50. Uh, Margarito didn't think that was fair. HBO put in more money. It all went to Margarito, and we made the fight. How insistent were you that this Mosley fight was the right one at this time for Antonio Margarito? Well, I want to get him this, the biggest fight possible. You know, he just came off with his biggest triumph, mm -hmm. beating Miguel Cotto. Uh, I don't believe in putting the fighters back together again uh, in a rematch as their next fight. Mm -hmm. I would like to, as I say, put air under it. Mosley is a real challenge for Antonio. It's not to be taken lightly. It's his opportunity to make a good payday, but he has to fight, and he's fighting somebody real tough. That's why I made the fight.